Hey everyone, Luke here. And Mike. Mike, what are you doing? I'm hiding. We, there's no time for that. We've got to talk to all our friends. Exactly. Because it's time to rehearse, rehearse the, the verse. verse. Today's verse is found in the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 9. Say it like this. Romans 10, 9. Say with your mouth, Jesus is Lord. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. Then you will be saved. All right, I'm going to say it and you're going to repeat after me. Got it? They got it. Romans 10, 9. Romans 10, 9. Say with your mouth, Jesus is Lord. Say with your mouth, Jesus is Lord. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. And then you will be saved. And then you will be saved. Great job, that's how you get it done. Okay, so what was with all that hiding business? Just watch and you will find out. Luke, can you refresh my circuits by telling me why this scientist, Kate, is coming to Connect Station? Sure, Nitro. She's part of the Share Scientist program, and that allows the scientists from Earth the rare opportunity to come to research in space. Oh, there she is now. Hi, Kate. I'm Luke. We're glad to have you here, even though it's only for a short while. I can't believe I get to do my research in space. And your robot is amazing. I've never seen a more advanced model. I am Nitro. Let us know if you need anything. This is all so wonderful. I'm sure I'll find all I need here. You know, I was looking over all of your scientific accomplishments and I am impressed. Science comes easy to me. I know lots of facts about everything. I have a good memory. Go on, test me. What is the circumference of the Earth? 24,901.55 miles, or 40,075.16 kilometers. That is true, factual, correct. Oh, uh, okay, how far is the sun from the Earth? Approximately 93 million miles, or 150 million kilometers, which explains why it takes light from the sun just over eight minutes to reach Earth. Wow. Well, I'm convinced, Kate. God has blessed you with a great mind. You've got a lot to be thankful for. I can't help but notice that you talk about God a lot. Oh, yeah, we do all the time. I mean, it is our mission to lead kids to become fully devoted followers of Christ. Oh, I know a lot about him. That's great to hear. I went to church and memorized everything the leader said. I know the Bible too. There are 66 books in the Bible, 1,189 chapters, and just over 31,000 verses. I told you, great memory. That's great, and uh, hey, you can look around the station all you want. I want you to make yourself at home, and the lounge is right through that door. Great, I'll just explore then. Okay. Eight minutes. Kate knows a lot about Jesus. But knowing about Jesus and really knowing him are two different things. I wonder if she's ever decided to make Jesus the leader of her life. Thank you for the videos. I want to live on the station when I grow up. You must be our new guest scientist. Yes, hi, I'm Kate. Alyssa, I was just reading some letters that kids have sent us. I'm in charge of communications here on the station. What do you communicate? <sighs> Only the best news ever. Hang on. I'll just show you. Ooh, this one's my favorite to watch over and over again. Check it out. This is a 66 pick mixed up into one The book's about God, who he is and what he's done It's the Holy Bible, y'all, with God's truth packed out inside It's alive, up to the heart in your heart and in your mind Old Testaments are set up for the big event When Jesus crashed the scene with a new arrangement It's history, his story, whose story, God's story Story about Martin loves me 
Let it blow up all the pages that this show gone on Let his world explode from this video into your life What's up, Bouncy? Hey, Dot. I see you're reading the Bible. The Bible? Yeah, you know, the big book that tells us about God. How he made everything. How much he loves us. How he wants us to live. And just how awesome he is. Well, I'm trying to read it. But there's some stuff in here that I just don't get. Like what? Well, this says that everyone sins. And I don't think that I've sinned. Do you know what sin means? You know, like being a robber or something. But I'm not a bad guy. Sin means disobeying God. Have you ever lied? Well, sometimes. What about sneaking around to get away with something your parents said not to do? Well, everyone does that. That's no big deal. That's sin. That's disobeying God. And yes, everyone has done it. But the Bible says that the punishment for sin is death. I thought God was a good guy. That doesn't seem too fair. God is the good guy. He's perfect and he's fair. So he has to punish sin. Well, can't I just be extra good for the rest of my life to make up for all the bad stuff I've done? Didn't you read the good news part of the Bible? No. What's the good news? Jesus. Jesus? God sent his son Jesus to earth to take your punishment for you. He's the only person who never sinned. Not even once. Nope, he was perfect, just like God. So when he died on the cross, he took the punishment for all the sin in the world. Jesus can erase your sin forever. Dying on a cross? Oh, I'm so confused. Okay, let me start over. God loves us. He wants to be our friend. But sin messes up our relationship with God. So God did something to get rid of sin. He let Jesus die in our place. The cross made a way for us to be friends with God. So what do you mean by cross? That's how Jesus died. People nailed his hands and feet to a big wooden cross and left him there until he died. A uh, dot, I'm just a kid. And that's gross and kind of scary, really. Well, that's how it happened. Because of the cross, we can be right with God. Whew, so I'm all good then? Well, you have to choose to live your life for Jesus now. A uh, dot. Yes, Bouncy? But I don't know how to do that. It's as easy as A, B, C. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live in love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. You know what, Dot? I want to do that. I want to make Jesus the leader of my life. You do? Well, you can pray with me right now and talk to God about it. Do you want to? Yeah, but I don't know what to say. If you want to make Jesus your leader, repeat after me. Dear God. Dear God. I know that I have disobeyed you. I know that I've disobeyed you. I don't want to sin anymore. I don't want to sin anymore. Thank you for taking the punishment for my sin. Thank you for taking the punishment for my sin. I want Jesus to be the leader of my life. I want Jesus to be the leader of my life. Thank you for making me your friend. Thank you for making me your friend. Help me to live for you now. Help me to live for you now. I can pray this because of Jesus. I can pray this because of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Isn't that the best news ever? It's not really news to me. I've gone to church all my life. I paid attention. Jesus, born from Bethlehem, 12 disciples. I know all about him. Yes. I mean, those things are true and wonderful things to know, but it's not really the same as knowing Him. 
knowing him? Yeah, I mean, have you ever asked Jesus to be the leader of your life? If it's all the same to you, I don't really want to talk about it. Oh, well that's okay, because I love talking about him. You see, one day I realized that everything I knew about Jesus was true. So then I prayed and I asked Jesus to be the leader you of know, my- No, I should probably get back to my research. It's nice to meet you, Alyssa. It is nice to have a new friend on Connect Station, and she seems to know a lot about Jesus, but she does not want to talk about him. Discovering today's point could help her. Friends, say it with me in three, two, one. I admit my faith in Jesus. Very good. Perhaps our new friend will discover this point very soon. Not only are Nitro's mechanics incredibly advanced, his circuit system is in pristine condition. Thank you, Kate. That is very nice of you to say. How long have you been operational? It has been five years since my creator, Dr. Emo, activated me. <gasps> Aww, Nitro's five years old. I love that age. I read a lot about Nitro and the whole crew before I got here, but being here the past few weeks has been amazing. Better than you expected? Way better. You guys have been so welcoming. It's like we're friends. Well, of course we're friends. How much longer will you be with us, Kate? I leave tomorrow. Alyssa, is something wrong? You seem out of sorts. Well, it seems like Kate just got here. Come with me! Where are we going? There's still one place you haven't been to yet. Warning, this may feel a little bit weird. To the room! Where are we? Hello, Alyssa. Ah, you've brought a new friend. How can I help you? Hi, Room. This is Kate. She is so nice and really smart, and she knows a lot about Jesus. How wonderful. It is nice to meet you, Kate. Hello, Room. Kate, you said you knew a lot about Nitro and the crew before you came, but now you really know us. Right. And I'm glad I know you now. Well, you also know a lot about Jesus, but do you really know him? Is that a big deal? I don't understand why that matters. Perhaps looking at today's verse will help you. Yeah, show me. I want to know. Romans 10, 9. Say with your mouth, Jesus is Lord. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. Then you will be saved. Okay, so that is related to that story you showed me. It talked about how to be saved. Right. You know a lot about Jesus, but until you believe that he is God's son and that he died on the cross for your sins, it's just a lot of facts in your head. You have to know it in your heart too. Jesus loves you so much. If you say you believe He is Lord, and pray and ask Him to be the leader of your life, you will be saved. Right! I did that, and ever since then, I can't help but tell everyone about Jesus. No matter what, I admit my faith in Jesus. That's... Kate, look! That's the point! I admit my faith in Jesus! That's great! Okay, so, do you want to pray right now and ask Jesus to be the leader of your life? We can go ahead and do it right now. Alyssa, stop! I'm sorry, I can't. I know you believe, but I just need more facts. But Jesus loves you so much. Choosing to follow Jesus is a big decision. It will mean living your life His way instead of your own. And Alyssa is right. Jesus loves you, and He will help you. Maybe I will choose to follow Him someday. 
I'm just not ready. Well, if you ever need a friend to pray with, come find me, okay? Okay. All right, let's get back. Thanks, Room. You're very welcome, Alyssa. It was nice meeting you, Kate. I wish you didn't have to leave. I finished my research here. Time to move on to my next project. You are welcome here, anytime. Yeah, you'll have to come back and visit. Okay, I will. Thank you guys for making me feel so welcomed. Goodbye, friends. Bye, Kate. Safe travels. I wish she didn't have to go, but I really hope she chooses to make Jesus the leader of her life. Yeah, I'm really glad you talked to her about that. Well, I had to. No matter what, I admit my faith in Jesus. I admit my faith in Jesus. Luke, mm. let's pray for Kate right now that she chooses to know Jesus. Okay. Jesus, please help our friend Kate. She is so special and she knows a lot about you. Please speak to her heart so that she chooses to make you the leader of her life. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Now that was an awesome prayer. So no hiding? No hiding. I tell everyone I have faith in Jesus. I have faith in Jesus. See, we're already living today's point. Will you say it with us? I admit my faith in Jesus. Maybe if we keep praying for Kate, she'll be able to have faith in Jesus too. Yeah, I hope so. But what about you guys? If you've chose Jesus to be the leader of your life, then tell others. And that's what today's verse is all about. Say it with us. Romans 10, 9. Say it with your mouth, Jesus is Lord. Believe in your heart that God raise him from the dead, then you will be saved. This week, I hope you guys get many opportunities to tell others about your faith in Jesus. And if you get those chances, don't hide your faith inside. Show that you believe in Jesus. I'm so sad Kate didn't choose to follow Jesus, but I'm gonna keep praying, and maybe one day she will. Just goes to show you, you can go to church and know a lot about Jesus, but still choose to not believe and follow him. But I do know Jesus, and I believe in him. And no matter what, I admit my faith in Jesus. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here with us at Connect. Still, if you haven't already, you can choose to make Jesus the leader of your life. And you can do that today. Just remember ABC. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. If you choose to make Jesus the leader of your life, please let someone know by talking about it to one of your small group leaders before you leave.